What's up, y'all, and welcome back to the SEC Insider. Let's hit it. Welcome to the SEC Insider. Okay, so before we go into this episode, I want to say a couple things. First of all, go below and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like this content, if you've already seen some of it before, leave a comment below and tell us what um, we should do next. And then lastly, like this video if you like it. And if you don't like it, dislike it and leave a comment why you don't like it. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Okay, so today it's going to be a shorter episode, but I just want to talk about one main thing. Bo Nix's injury and what that means to this Auburn team and what we can do to get past it. First of all, um, let's just talk about the basic injury. So in the Mississippi State game, he apparently injured his ankle and doctors said he's going to be out for the rest of the regular season. Thankfully, you know, it might not be uh, the rest of his entire career, so we could have him back next year or even possibly for a bowl game, but he is definitely out for the rest of the season. This is not the end of the world for our Auburn team or the Auburn team this year. We still have TJ Finley, who has proven himself to be a, a very good athlete and even, you know, definitely a serviceable quarterback, if not a good quarterback. So there's no reason to worry about that. Hopefully he'll be prepared for the next two games and he can play really well and we can pull off a couple of wins. So instead of getting down about the next two games, I think Auburn fans should be really excited about the next two games and uh, really be expecting to see some good uh, playing by TJ Finley. I think he'll do really well and have a lot of high hopes for him to play really well against the next two teams. Obviously he's not Bo Nix, but he's an experienced quarterback who played a whole year or most of the year at LSU. He's definitely used to this system of playing good, solid teams, and I think he can do really well. But the season is just not over. Regardless of who gets injured, what happens, the season's not over. And even if we lose the next two games, it's still been a great season. Coach Harson has put together a great team that has done way more than anybody expected them to. And even though Bo Nix is out for the rest of the season, we've had some bad calls, um, especially that targeting call against us in the Mississippi State game. Horrible call, but regardless of that, we've had a great season and there's no reason to get down um, upon Auburn this year. They've done a great job, performed really well, and regardless of the fact that they've lost Bo Nix, they can still do great the rest of the season. I really have hopes for the next two games. I think we'll play really well. Even against Alabama, I think we can play really well, and I think Coach Harson's going to do a great job of preparing us for that. I think there's no reason to get down on it. Finally, I just want to share with y'all uh, what Bo Nix had to say about his injury on Twitter. It should pull up on the screen if y'all would read that. It shows us that even in our injuries, it's all part of God's plan, and in the end, even though he got hurt, he knows that it was God's will for it to happen, and it's all part of his plan, and that everything is working together for his good and for his future, and everything um, God has for him in the rest of his life. Uh, I think we should all take inspiration from that, all be encouraged by that. And so I just want to leave y'all with that. Even though this was a shorter episode, thank y'all for watching. If you didn't see the beginning, just please go below and subscribe, and y'all have a great day.